month that I was here in June with the uh, residency partners, we went through a series of scenarios or projects that were ongoing or uh, proposed in South Australia as a way of understanding how to move from here to there and um, to work towards not the recommendations but an ideal model for decision making. Effectively, the outcome of the residency will be a proposal for an uh, ideal decision-making process toward the residency objectives. So, you see in the list here, um, and uh, these will become larger in a moment, of the nine, uh, nine projects that we explored. And yes, um, we dare to talk about the new Royal Adelaide Hospital, and I would say that it emerged as one of the best examples of integrated design, and I won't have time to articulate all of its attributes, but I do want to note um, the signif its significance for vision. Um, vision being one of the principles of integrated design. The hospital was proposed as something that is obviously long-term and transcends an electoral cycle. It's really looking far beyond uh, um, probably this and the next cycle, and it really is underpinned by leadership from, um, above, among others, um, Minister Hill, and it's significant to note that he moved from an environmental portfolio to a health portfolio, and he's able to talk about the hospital in relation to all of the South Australia strategic plan targets and not just about health. I would say too, the Royal Adelaide Hospital reflects um, healthcare reform and healthcare in all policies, which was really a discussion started under another thinker of residence. So the ability to establish that vision as something that is very long term was um, most important in this case. We also looked at, uh, through uh, DTI and the Australian Institute of Architects, how we might uh, reconsider procurement practices and toward valuing design. And this has to do with consultation. Fred and I had a discussion last week about the definition of consultation in South Australia. It means a lot of different things to a lot of people. Um, but consultation in this case means the role of design professionals in, in um, forming the built environment or in influencing the built environment. So we looked at procurement as moving from managing risk to fostering innovation. How would those relationships be formed? Um, we looked at how the qualifications of architects or designers um, might be based on, on something that would lead to opportunity rather than, again, managing risk. And we looked at procurement as something that would go beyond a fragmented um, delivery method or methods to more integrated value-added approach.